Let's face it, everyone wants a lean defined midsection. But with all the conflicting information out there, it's hard to know what to do to get results. In this video, I'm going to share with you six keys to getting and maintaining a lean midsection, which are based on my years competing in fitness competitions, working with clients, and studying the research on this topic. You can start by implementing these recommendations right away to accelerate your fat loss efforts. So let's jump right into it. First, you want to avoid all sodas and fruit juice, even those with zero calories. Sodas and fruit juices are very high in sugars. What makes them worse is how easy it is to drink a lot of them so quickly, which spikes blood sugar resulting in a massive surge of insulin. Insulin turns off lipolysis or the fat burning process and leads to weight gain. The problem with fruit juices is that they are highly processed, meaning that the pulp, which contains the fiber, is removed from the fruit juice, leaving behind nothing but sugar. If you want juice, make it fresh at home with the pulp. The pulp not only contains fiber, but a lot of the antioxidants. Just blend some fruit with water and drink everything. If your drink is more than 10 grams of sugar per serving, it could be preventing you from burning body fat. So what about drinks that have zero calories? Well, these drinks may not have calories, but the artificial sweeteners or even the natural sweeteners have been shown to disrupt the microbiome inside the gut, which can disrupt hormone balance and insulin sensitivity, ultimately contributing to weight gain. Next, you want to avoid processed foods like breads, wheat pasta, and pastries. Processed foods often contain a large list of ingredients that are no good and like fruit juice are processed, meaning their nutrients have been stripped from them. Processed foods are often high in carbohydrates, which means they result in elevations in insulin and like fruit juice and soda, making it harder for us to lose body fat. Next, you wanna eat breakfast every day. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Eating a nutrient-dense breakfast with a healthy source of protein and fat sets the pace for eating for the rest of the day and makes it less likely for you to overeat later on in the evening. A lot of people skip breakfast because they don't have time or they don't have an appetite, so um, they have a coffee instead. The coffee might make them feel good for a couple of hours, but once it wears off and the blood sugar drops because the person hasn't eaten anything, this leads to overeating. Ideally, you want to have most of your calories in the earlier part of the day and, less, and eat less and less towards the evening. You want to start your day with healthy protein and fat, which promote healthy blood sugar levels throughout the day. If time is an issue or you don't have an appetite, a protein smoothie with avocado, green seeds is a great option. Next, you want to lift weights to build muscle. When it comes to burning fat, your muscles are your best friend. Muscles are like a fat burning machine. So when we stimulate them by lifting weights, we are essentially turning on a fat burning furnace, increasing the body's BMR or basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of energy the body burns at rest. So aim to lift weights three to four times each week at least. And ladies, don't worry about getting too big. It's not gonna happen. I hear women sometimes saying, oh, I don't wanna lift weights because I'm afraid I'm gonna get too big. Don't worry, this will not happen. Muscles don't grow overnight. Focus on working on the large muscle groups like the legs, chest, back, and shoulders at these require the greatest amount of energy and burn the most. If you are liking this content and want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Next, you want to make sure you're getting 7-8 hours of quality sleep. If your goal is to burn body fat, you have to make sure you're getting 7 or 8 hours at least of quality sleep each night. Our body does most of its repair at night when we're sleeping. We build muscle and burn fat when we're sleeping. Unfortunately, a lot of people have sleep issues these days. People are unable to fall asleep, stay asleep, or both. A lot of this is due to our dependence on technology and screen time before bed. Screen time just refers to using either a cell phone, computer, or watching TV. The research is showing that using screens before bed disrupts sleep by reducing the production of melatonin in the body, which is required for initiating and maintaining sleep. Also having electronics like cell phones and modems in a room can disrupt sleep, preventing it from entering the deeper stages of sleep where most of the recovery happens. So avoid using all screens at least one hour before bed and aim to get at least seven, eight hours of sleep each night. If you must, iPhone has a display setting um, called night shift, which filters out the blue light from the screen. So make sure you turn that on um, 
when the sun goes down. And if you like watching TV before bed, invest in some blue light blocking glasses from Amazon. But ideally, avoid screens together. Just go old school, read a book, and um, put your cell phone outside of the room, around the corner, don't worry, you will still hear it if you use an alarm or if there is an emergency. Next, you wanna do high intensity interval training for cardio, especially after your weights. Most people at the gym do steady state cardio, which is a big waste of time if your goal is to lose weight or body fat. Steady state cardio involves doing cardio for the same intensity over a period of time. To make cardio more effective, perform high intensity intervals. High intensity intervals involves alternating bouts of high intensity with medium intensity. For example, run 80% of your max for 30 seconds and alternate between a light, with a light jog 50% of your max for one minute, repeating this for five to 10 intervals. Countless studies have found that interval training is much more effective for burning fat than steady state and it also takes less time. Interval training significantly raises your body's BMR for several hours following the exercise, increasing fat loss. And to get the most out of each cardio session, perform cardio after weight training rather than before. When you do cardio before weight training, you're simply burning off the sugar stored in the muscle without burning much fat. Instead, by performing cardio after your weight training, you're using the stored sugar for weights. So by the time you get into cardio, you're tapping right into body fat. So for cardio, warm up for three minutes on a machine of choice then go hard at 80% of your max intensity for 30 seconds, then 50% of your max intensity for one minute. Perform seven alternating rounds like this and finish with a three minute cool down. This shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes and remember to do this after your weight session to maximize fat loss. I hope you have found the information here today useful. I suggest implementing these strategies into your routine for at least three weeks and seeing if they help with your weight loss journey. So what are some strategies that you have tried to help burn body fat? Share your comments below and I want to thank you for watching my video and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe so you can stay up to date with my future videos. Thank you. To summarize, keys to getting a lean midsection that I've mentioned in this video include avoiding all sodas and fruit juice, even those with zero calories, avoiding processed foods like breads, wheat pasta, pastries, and sweets, having breakfast every day, lifting weights to build muscle, being sure we're getting seven, eight hours of sleep, quality sleep each night, and doing high intensity interval training for cardio, especially after our weight session.